home state for the Cowboys. Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe Here. Texas. Hey, LinkedIn, you know LinkedIn. They're out with a look at what types of jobs are most likely to be in demand next year. In 2020, cutting edge technology and mental health industries are the big ones that are emerging. For tech, it's robotics, engineering, data and cybersecurity. Those are the big areas. Specifically, jobs dealing with artificial intelligence. <laughs> and when it comes to mental health, behavioral health technicians are in high demand. They can fill roles in places mm -hmm. like substance abuse treatment centers and YMCAs. LinkedIn says other industries are open to hiring employees that have diverse backgrounds, specialized training, and other skills outside of your typical college education. Every, every job that's the whole other side of the brain than what we are. Than what we are, <laughs> yes. What we right. are. That's so what's hot. Keep reading off your teleprompter, Todd. Mm -hmm. Hey, relying on that tax refund to take care of all of your 2019 holiday debt? Well, the IRS says don't count on using your tax return to pay that all off just yet because the agency says most refunds won't be ready until the end of February at the earliest, and that's if you file right away. If you do that, kudos to you. <laughs> if you're getting the earned income or additional child tax credits, it's going to take you even longer. We honestly got ours back at the end of July because we had a couple things we had to do this year. It was the end of July. July. Yeah, and we actually filed earlier than normal for us. Okay, so none of this is going to be processed till mid-February, and your refund won't be issued without those credits. So typically it takes at least 21 days from the filing date for refunds to go through. The IRS will start accepting returns at the end of January. So it'll be about next Christmas I'm when a, I get my return then. I start in April. That's usually when I do it. <laughs> I, start I, and finish. I usually start and finish in yeah. April, yeah. Fans yeah. for both, this is such a great story, fans for both the home and the away teams came together during a high school basketball game to root for the same person, an assistant principal battling cancer. Check this out. The Forest Hills Eastern Hawks and Lowell Red Arrows matched up at Lowell High School last night while competitors on the court both teams came together to help Tim Holland beat cancer. Now, Holland is the assistant principal at Forest Hills Eastern, but his kids go to Lowell. The game helped raise money for Holland's cancer fight. He was actually released from the hospital just the day before, but he said there was no way he was going to miss that game. That is pure class. Awesome job. Hey, one snowman that you will actually be thrilled to see melt. Trader Joe's has come up with an ingenious way to enjoy some hot cocoa. The company is selling that right there. It's a chocolatey, chocolatey, sorry, marshmallowy and adorable snowmanny <laughs> that you melt into a mug of hot milk. The snowman will bob in the cup until it starts to melt, turning the milk into warm, hot chocolate. The two ounce hot cocoa snowman is going to sell for under two dollars. It's a perfect holiday treat or stocking stuffer. Yeah, that's neat. And it's that time of year. We're going outside. Starts to look a little less inviting, especially today with the cold winds. But health officials remind us it's important to stay active. Along with physical wellness, exercise this time of year can also help with seasonal depression. Exercise psychologists say the key to staying motivated is removing as many obstacles as possible. They suggest this, put on your workout clothes as soon as you get home from work, even if you don't exercise right away. And set the thermostat higher for when you wake up, so it doesn't seem as unappealing to get out of that warm bed and get a morning workout in. They also say to try and focus on the mental benefits.